very overwhelming moment that it has been for the entire family. Shubhanshu's mother was uh, in tears even when Shubhanshu was taking off. And uh, now that her son has safely landed, coming out all smiles out of the dragon capsule proudly with uh, uh, the Indian flag on his sleeve. And uh, there you hear the cheers, the cake cutting ceremony and uh, all of that is happening on the ground as uh, everyone is elated. Shubhanshu Shukla is back, he is safe, he is sound. It is on the 17th that he is set to be in Delhi. Uh, he will also be meeting with all the ISRO officials and uh, this has been a very important mission. ISRO that invested 500 crores to get a seat for Shubhanshu Shukla because this also prepares us for the Gaganyaan mission that India is set out to achieve. There you see on the left of your screens that uh, historical moment of uh, Shubhanshu Shukla, Shuks as he's famously known and how his crew addresses him who came out of the dragon capsule was brought out safely after all the checks were performed and there he came out all smiles on the ride of course in Lucknow where uh, celebrations have been on in full swing. His family, his friends, all those who've known him, especially this happening at the school that he studied as uh, 140 crore Indians harbor that feeling and feel that sense of pride for Shubhanshu Shukla who has scripted history. Well, good evening to all of you and I'm joining you now, Soesha. I'm Anjali Istwal and let me tell you, Soesha, I was in the newsroom when this landing happened, this splashdown. And the moments over there, everybody erupted in, uh, uh, in, uh, in cheer and we could see the delight on everyone's face. And similarly, now you can see on your screens how the family of Shubhan Shushugla reacted to the moment when they splashed down. And when he came out, there you see him. Of course, a proud moment, as Suesha was telling you, a proud moment for those who have been following his journey, for people like us, for common people, Indians, who think that India's space program will now grow by leaps and bounds. Our Prime Minister also made a tweet, Suesha. He expressed uh, his happiness, he encouraged Subhanshu, and he mentioned that this is going to be a huge leap for Gaganyaan. Oh yes, absolutely. And uh, Anjali, you would remember that interaction that had taken place between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Shubhanshu Shukla while he was in space. Uh, Narendra Modi, Prime Minister, asking him how India looks from uh, the International Space Station. And uh, there he said that it is bigger than anything that I can see. Also, the very special uh, message that Shubhanshu Shukla put out as he described his experience as magical, where he said that if all of humanity is set out to achieve that one goal, there is nothing that we can't achieve. So, uh, you know, Anjali, uh, Shubhanshu Shukla is back on Earth and uh, the entire Axiom 4 crew uh, of uh, the very many takeaways of the research uh, that has been performed as a part of those 60 experiments. 14 days uh, is the time that they were to spend on the International Space Station and it got extended to 18 days, but now they are back safe and sound. Of course, uh, the splashdown that uh, happened at 2.30 a.m. their time and it was pitch dark so while we were hoping to see it better but of course uh, there was only that the lights could make us see and uh, all of them safe and sound uh, all of the checks that were performed after which uh, right. they have been brought out. Absolutely. And now Shuchi Shukla, who is Subhanshu's sister, joins us. And we've been speaking to her again and again. And she's a proud sister, I must say. Thank you, Suchi, for speaking with us. Firstly, how was that moment when you saw Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla, your younger brother, coming down? What was the moment like for you? Thrilling, thrilling, thrilling. There is no other word than this. Highly excited, highly happy. I don't know how to control my emotions right now. I'm highly, highly, highly proud uh, right now. And this is the moment we were waiting for it. He has made the history now. We were writing that he is writing the history. He has made the history right now. And uh, so, so, so happy. I'm, my, my eyes, I cannot uh, just uh, unvisit that. I cannot uh, remove my eyes from the screen still because he has to come out of the coop. But uh, what, what to say? So happy, so happy.
Shruti, we totally feel every emotion uh, and we understand why you're out of words. In fact, uh, your mother and your father have been so emotional. Your mother, uh, you know, all of India was watching her. She was all tears, uh, praying for her son. She continued to do that till the very second that she saw her son emerge out. Uh, how has it been for the entire family? Yes, of course, of course, it's an emotional moment also. Uh, though we were not thinking to cry, but uh, we are Indians. We, we cry in all the moments, so in that happy moment also we were crying. But Shiji, this is a moment that everybody is sharing with you. You know, uh, of course, the entire country, we, everyone, but there are people around you also who are sharing this moment and they could really express it when they were waving those Indian flags. So how was it, that moment for you? Uh, the goosebumps were, goosebumps were there and of course uh, we cannot remove out that Indianness from our side. Uh, anyways, wherever we are, whenever this kind of movement is going to be happen, our Indianness uh, certainly comes out and uh, we were feeling very happy about it. And you know, Shuchi Shubhanshu has become an inspiration for everyone now, every Indian. Your brother has achieved this historic feat. What do you want to say to him? That was the broader picture actually and that was the motive, ultimate motive is that only, that uh, they, they, he, that not many people uh, should get the motivation from that and this, uh, especially the upcoming generation. So we, uh, if they are getting the motivation, that is that, uh, the best achievement I can say.